Hey guys, Arja here. Welcome back to another video. Today is the first episode of Mod School. Mod School is a series that I'm going to be doing to teach all you new subscribers that don't really go back into my old videos and just check out the Mod P tutorials there. Um, there's going to be something different from the old ones in this series. Is I'm going to try and make the, this series a little bit easier to understand because before I was kind of a noob at modding. And now I'm a little bit more experienced. So, yeah. So this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make custom items and how to uh, make it do something. So this is going to be the first episode. And I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So let's get started here and put down and um, type in a function. So if you don't know what a function is, I do recommend clicking the link below to CodeCademy.com and learning JavaScript there. It's an interactive website that allows you to do certain activities to learn JavaScript in the most easiest way possible. That's how I learn JavaScript, at least. So, yeah, I do recommend checking that out. And, yeah, let's just continue. Um, we're going to do a f we're gonna type in a function called modpe.setitem. It's not called modpe.setitem, but, yeah, type that down into your editor, your preferred editor. I'm using Droid Edit. So, and the parameters that this takes, okay, so um, ID, it takes in the ID, the texture name, which I'll show you guys all the texture names we can use, the texture data, and uh, the, just the regular item name. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and change that. We're going to Try not to overwrite any item, and we're just going to go up straight to 500. That's the item ID is 500. Um, you're going to put in the texture name. So we're going to go ahead and look into a website by Zooey himself, who actually develops uh, Block Launcher. And he made this site right here to help you guys use any item texture. Just not in this part, like right when it starts at... The apple right here because it says it's the items now um that's when that's when you can start using the texture so um we're gonna use let's look at right here um i'm not sure which one to use uh let's see i want to use the fireworks so let's go back into wow well, well, i want to show you guys how that works okay so we're gonna take the name which is fireworks, and then this is the item data or the texture data, zero. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it put in texture name, which is fireworks with an S, I believe. Yeah, it's with an S, and the texture data, which is zero, and then put in the name. Um, we're gonna call this one. Uh, Super rocket of awesomeness. Yeah, that that that's gonna work out right there. Super rocket of awesomeness, and um, we're gonna make it do something. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put down a hook. A hook is technically a function used by the game itself. Um, when you tap on a block, it calls the use item function and it puts in parameters just like what we're doing right here the instead the game is doing it itself and uh, what it does is what this function takes in is the coordinates that you tap on the item ID that you the item ID of the carried item when this event happened and the block ID that you tapped on when this event happened and the side and the damage slash data. We're just gonna put in data because it's easier to type. So data. So you know, um, I will tell you guys what data is first. Uh, that technically is kind of the like. Let's say you tapped on wool. If the data uh, parameter was not there, it would just return just white wool, which is the basic wool. If if that if the data was there and you were working with the data and you wanted it would return like let's say you tapped on blue wool without it it would return white wool and uh, if the data was there it would return the 
blue wool. It would return that. So that's very useful. It wasn't there for the first few um, first few moments. I don't know the first few versions of mod PE, but now it's there. So we're gonna put that into use in later episodes. So we're gonna go ahead and do an if statement. An if statement allows you to kind of control how the script works. So um, right now what it does is use item. It happens whenever you tap on a block. But if you do an if statement, it, it makes sure that the condition that you put into the if statement is true before it happens. So let's say um, we're going to actually just go into it. Item ID equals 500. You need to put e two equal signs right there. Or three. But two equal signs is fine. So if item ID equals 500, that technically means only if the item ID, only if the carried item is is the super rocket of awesomeness, that it will do client message, which is another function, just a basic function that you guys need to learn. It prints text to the chat bar. So this is technically what uh, a lot of modders use just to give themselves credit for just making sure people don't forget their names or something like that. So this is a lot what a lot of modders use. It's the it's a first function that you guys should learn. So client message, and we're just going to put you used an awesome item. I don't know why I capitalized that. But yeah, so now if it's, if item ID equals 500, uh... We're going to go into block launcher here. Let's go import it. Go ahead and import. We're going to go into mod school. JS. We're going to open up Minecraft. Uh, this world. Uh, you. Oh, it's already here. Okay, so. Uh, see here we have the super rocket of awesomeness. Technically all you have to do. If you, if you have. Um. Single player commands, you can do slash give 500, and we'll give ourselves like 32 of it. See, so here we have 32, a super rocket of awesomeness. And if we tap on block, on a block with it, you used an awesome item. So, yeah, so that's the that's all we're I'm gonna be doing for this episode. I can't talk. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you like if you like this episode, if you thought this was useful. Make sure to subscribe for more. Uh, tell me what I should teach you guys in later videos because I kind of have a lesson plan. So, uh, yeah, so, again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.